Welcome to St. Dominic's College, Cabra. Open evening, slightly different this year to what we had last year. My name is Anne Cameron and I'm Principal of St. Dominic's College in Cabra. And as you may know, St. Dominic's is a highly regarded school in the local community and has been for many years. It is steeped in tradition and heritage, but yet at the same time we look forward to the modern world and prepare our students for that modern world that they will live and work in. I want you to enjoy the virtual tour this evening. You will see lots of work prepared by our wonderful students who are the best ambassadors that we could have for our school. Forms will be available for application for September 2021 in about two weeks time on the 1st of October. And forms will be available in many of the primary schools. Or if you wish to email our school at info at stdominics.ie we will email or post an application form out to you. Happiness is a huge part of what we do in the school. There's a huge emphasis on teaching and learning but when a student is happy most things fall into place so that is a really important part of our well-being program. We look forward to seeing you possibly in the future maybe in September 2021 if you are in sixth class as a new student at St Dominic's College or maybe September 2022 if you're in fifth class. So let's put on the visor and head in for the open evening. Come follow me into English, Maths, Business and Religion. Oh! Oh! <laughs> William! Hello! Hello! Hello. William! Shakespeare! Shakespeare! Yeah, Shakespeare! Hello! How, how are you girls? Oh, we're doing how are you? well. We're actually yes. left doing a virtual tour. Oh yes, you're so disturbing me a little actually because oh. I'm, I'm I'm teaching me at the moment. I do a lot of that actually. I'm asked to do that. It's good. It's good pay. <laughs> Today I'm teaching Romeo and Juliet. A Romeo, Romeo! Good afternoon. Parting is such sweet sorrow. But I'll let you continue now. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. We are part of the St. Dominic's debating team. We have taken part in many inter-school debates. Debating is a great opportunity to, ve to develop your public speaking skills. The whole idea is to prove that it's equally likely to get the same, or equally likely to have, uh, to roll a one as it is to roll a six. Okay, girls, remember yesterday we started on economics and we did some demand curves. And uh, we drew some actually yesterday. Okay, girls, so we're going to be doing marketing today and just a small little activity for you to start off marketing that you're going to start the logo quiz. So just guess a couple of the well known logos that you have there in front of you. Religion education is important because we learn about different worldviews. Yeah, and traditions, faiths, and beliefs. Let's have a look at what's happening in French, music, art, and PE. Bonjour, je m'appelle Devon. I was just me on Terminal. I uh, really enjoy studying French here at St. Dominic's. I just find it really insightful to learn into different cultures of different countries. And I've definitely learned a lot about different like art styles and music and literature and film. And it's given me a good insight to things that I'd be interested in, to, in learning in college. And I'd definitely like to continue studying French in third level. Bonjour, je m'appelle Katie. Um, I've been studying French for six years and I think it's a really beneficial language. Um, not only has it given me many different options into courses for college, I also just think it's a really fun language to speak.
Now let's have History, Science, CSPE and SPAG. Okay, so when we're talking about history, one of the best ways to learn about it is to handle it. So what I have here are some of the artifacts from history. History is a key subject here in St Dominic's College from first year through to sixth year. This corridor displays samples of project work produced by students between first and fourth year. We hope you enjoy the display. Thank you. CSP stands for Civic, Social, Political Education. CSP aims to inform and inspire young people to become active citizens who can then change things for the better in their community, our country and the world. CSP encourages students to keep in touch with what is happening in the news, locally, nationally and globally, by reading newspapers and listening to the news. These topics and issues are then discussed during class where all students' views are respected. Other things we discuss during class is democracy and politics, our needs and wants, and human rights. Social, personal health education. As St Dominic's, all students take part in once a week in learning about ourselves in a safe, friendly environment. It's a non-exam non subject. SPHG is a subject in St Dominic's where we can learn about self-management healthy relationships and our mental health. We also learn to explore issues like substance abuse, staying safe, solving problems and learn to cope in everyday situations. Now let's see what's happening in Geography, German, Irish and Home Economics. Guten Tag, ich heiße Kathleen. Hallo, ich heiße Kina. And we want to show you our German classroom. Hallo, ich heiße Eva. Guten Tag, ich heiße Sarah. Und wir sind im sechsten Jahrgang. Und wir üben für die mündliche Prüfung. We're six years here in St. Dominic, and we've been learning German for six years. And at the moment, we're practicing for orals that will be next year. We do a lot of spoken German here in order to improve our confidence and to better our German. In German, we focus on the main five main skills, listening, reading, writing, and of course speaking. Students also get the opportunity to go abroad to Germany and Austria and get to meet the people and practice the language. We also have pen pals from Germany and Austria who we write to. Learning the language is fun but challenging. We even get to learn about the festivals celebrated in Germany and we even have German afternoon tea.
programs on offer here at St Dominic's are the traditional Leaving Cert, Leaving Cert Applied, Leaving Cert Vocational Programme, Transition Year and the Junior Cycle. Leaving Cert Applied is a two year Leaving Cert programme for students who want a more practical path of leaving or learning and assessment. The programme prepares students for adult and working life as well as for their education. It is called Applied as the programme allows students to apply their learning in practical settings like workplace and at school and in the community. For more information on the opportunities available, check our website on the school website. Hello, I'm Priyanshi and this is Tasha and we're 6 LCVP. LCVP stands for Leaving Cert Vocational Programme and it is an extra subject you can take alongside the traditional Leaving Cert course. Experience gained from various projects provided by LCVP, for example the trade fair, will help you gain um, skills such as organisational and teamwork. As part of our course, we are required to visit an enterprise and study how a business works. Last year, we visited Caffrey's Chocolate Factory. Also, um, we are required to do um, work experience as part of our course, which will allow us to get experience in the world of work. Over the course of two years, we work on our portfolio, which contains documents such as our CV and our career investigation. I'd like to welcome you to our transition year in St. Dominic's College, Cabra. It's an extra year. It's called fourth year, it's after third year and before your leave insert and it's a very special year and we have a very vibrant and interesting transition year in the school with a strong academic slant to it. An awful lot of different activities take place in our transition year. We do community care where we help out a charity. We do work experience for two weeks where the girls learn skills about working in the real world and how to get on with people. We do many different types of activities for them to learn their, their problem solving and team building skills. And the girls grow and mature and really get themselves ready for the Leave and Cert year. In my opinion, TY is a valuable year. We started the year with a Carlingford trip. It is a bonding trip where I made memories with my friends for the rest of my life. It was a great experience and great fun. Uh, there was also a lot of work experience. I did a week in an engineering company and I never even knew what it was like to, uh, what engineering was of a per se. Uh, after TY, I learned that I wanted to be an engineer. My name is Renio. I was a past TY student and I found that TY really helped me to grow as a person. I was able to join our school student council, which is something I never thought I could ever do. I never thought I'd be that confident or have the ability to speak in public like that. Hello, my name is Lily. And my name is Zoe. And we want to talk to you about the new junior cycle. We've just completed our three years of the new junior cycle course and we have found that it really places the student at the centre of their own learning. The new junior cycle is made up of newly developed subjects which focus on literacy, numeracy and key skills and other aspects of assessment and reporting. The junior cycle also encompasses a range of other learning experiences. Students will also engage in an area of learning called well-being. As students, we had a much wider range of learning experiences in school. We had more use of technology, lots of different kinds of assessment, and not just written exams. I feel we developed lots of key skills, like communication, working with others, managing information, and thinking and being creative. I enjoyed the classroom-based assessments and the variety of strategies used to promote learning such as show me boards, group work, presentations, learning by doing, and carousel activities. Classroom-based assessment, or CBA, has provided us with opportunities to express our learning through different ways that we couldn't do in a paper and pen examination. For example, verbal communication or investigation skills. CBAs are undertaken during a defined time period in normal class times in school to a national timetable all over Ireland. CBAs happen in both second and third year. Student well-being is really important to educational success and overall happiness. As a result, well-being is a core part of the Junior Cycle program. Students also have the opportunity to engage in other, with, with a wide range of other learning experiences as part of their Junior Cycle program. These learning experiences could include student engagement in the eco team, a musical performance, a debating competition, or being a member of school clubs. We have lots of wonderful opportunities for you to get involved with here in St. Dominic's College and we really enjoy being active members of our school community. Some of the other areas of student involvement include Coke Gaelic, Eco Team, 
Gashka Awards are social justice activities and events and extracurricular sports. Uh, Club Gaelic is on every Wednesday after school for an hour. It's loads of fun and we learn Irish through different activities and sports. Hey. Hello. We are the members of the junior and senior eco teams here in St. Dominic's. We work together every week to en en enhance the skill environment both inside and outside. As part of the school community, we are engaged in many projects that help us to promote a healthy and clean campus. We are fortunate to have such beautiful pleasure grounds and historic buildings surrounding us. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi, my name is Alina. And my name is Mona. And we're in sixth year. Here in St. Dominic's, students are encouraged to take part in many extracurricular activities, especially in the Gashka Award. For those of you watching this video, you may be in fourth, fifth, or sixth class right now. But in just a few years, you will be in fourth, fifth, or sixth year in secondary school, and then you will be able to take on this Gashka Challenge. What's so cool about the Gashka Challenge is that you get to decide for yourself on what challenges you want to do. There are four main challenges. Personal challenge where you try something new, maybe cooking or even learning a new instrument. Physical challenge where you do a sport. Community challenge where you help out the community at home or your school community. And adventure challenge where you could go on a hike. The Gashka challenge is supposed to be done in your free time, but our, but our teachers are always willing to use their free time to help us achieve this award. Our school has been involved in Gashka for many years and hundreds of students have has participated in this challenge. Many have achieved bronze, some silver and even gold awards. So if you come to our school, make sure to try out the Gashka challenge. Every year we help the local Vincent and Paul. The whole school gets involved donating money and giving food donations. Last year we were able to help nearly 60 families with hampers and meat vouchers. We also support the hospice coffee room. This special day where first year students can enjoy a drink of their choice, coffee, hot chocolate or tea. They can also chat and mingle with other classes. Downfield Day is another fundraising event that takes place. Downfields are sold to promote awareness of this important charity. Wellbeing is an important part of our school ethos. We help with development socially, personally and academically. We want the school to be a happy and healthy place for all students and all staff. It is integrated as part of the school curriculum for every year group, where subjects like PE, Wellbeing, SBHE, CSBE and Guidance are taught. We have good student-teacher relationships, an active student voice and we have lots helping out with the community. The six indicators of the wellbeing programme encapsulate what we as a school promote for each individual student. They are active, respected, resilient, aware, responsible and connected. This is a guidance counselling room. We have three guidance counsellors, Ms Lynch, Ms O'Brien and Ms McDowell, and our two chaplains. There is also guidance available from an educational, vocational and personal perspective with support available for every student. Hi, my name is Tasia, this is Eva, and we are first year prefects. There are 37 prefects in total that are chosen by the interview process. Our job is to act as role models for the first years. We know that the transition from primary school to secondary school can be very difficult, and we're just there to make that change as easy as possible. We sit with them during lunch times and watch out for any issues that may arise. We sort of act like big sisters, and we're just there to look after them. The transition years help them move from class to class. 
We ensure that all students feel safe, happy and welcome. Hi, my name is Sarah and this is Shana and we are representatives of the Student Council. We are the voice of students. We are part of the leadership team. Our main aim is to create a happy learning environment for all. We embrace and celebrate our diversity. We encourage inclusivity. Ideas and concerns are brought to us and we bring them to the table. Here are some of our achievements so far. Trousers were introduced as part of the school uniform. We launched a campaign to make our school more eco-friendly. We organised water fountains for students to refill their bottles. As a team, we complete pieces of artwork every year to make our surroundings more attractive for all. We meet with the principal regularly and she listens to us. We make a difference. If you join our school, your opinion will be valued. Students are heard in St Dominic's. Students are seen in St Dominic's. We encourage all students to have faith and belief in themselves. Hi, my name is Amanda and I have two daughters attending St Dominic's School. I'm part of the Parents Association who meet the first Tuesday of every month and we organise activities for the girls and fundraising for the school. We have a very strong, collaborative, working relationship with the principal and the staff of the school and we look forward to achieving the best possible education for our children. We encourage all parents to get involved and look forward to meeting some of you when your daughters join St Dominic's.